Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your first Google Slides presentation. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Let's get started by accessing Google Slides. There are two ways that you can do this. If you go to google.com and go to the upper right-hand corner under Google Apps, you can scroll down and find the option for slides. Alternatively, simply go to your address bar and type slides.google.com and you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account. And I'm gonna do that right now. And once we sign in, we are going to create our first presentation using a blank slide layout. And we can see there's a whole bunch of themes over here on the right-hand side that we can pick from. But for this demo, I'm gonna go with the simple light black and white theme here. Once you get more comfortable with Google Slides, you might wanna experiment with some of those other themes, but for now, we'll use this simple one. And let's give it a title, our sample fun presentation. And now let's give the slide a title. Now, while we're giving this slide a title, Let's highlight that text, and you can do that by just clicking and dragging across it. And let's take a look at the font options that we have. We can start up here and go through the default options, or we can scroll all the way to the bottom of this list and look at some of these others, or go to more fonts, and we'll have access to hundreds of other fonts that we can add to our list. Perhaps I wanna use the Playfair display font or the Merriweather font. I'll add those in. And now those will appear in my list of fonts up here. And let's grab them. There we go, I'm gonna use Merriweather bold. Sample fun presentation created by Mr. Byrne. And while I'm here, I'm gonna show you that you can bold and italicize and underline right there. You can also change your text color. Maybe I wanna make it purple. I can even do a highlighting around my text. And there it is. Now I have some highlighting around my slide. Let's add another slide now. And to do that, we can simply go to slide, new slide, and now we have a new slide. And while we're here, let's take a look at the layout. And we'll see we have a bunch of different layout options. For this next one, I'm going to use the blank layout because I want to add a big image to this slide. And there's a couple of ways that we can add images to this slide. First of all, we can go to the insert menu, select image, we can upload from the computer, we can search the web, we can pull something from Google Drive if you have photographs stored in Google Drive, that's a great option. If you use Google Photos to back up your photos, you can do that. You can insert the link to a picture you found on the web, or you can even take a picture with the webcam that's built in to your device. But for this one here, I'm going to upload from my computer. And let's go here, and I'm going to grab a little picture that I want to use. And so I'm gonna grab one of my demo pictures here. And I'm gonna use this picture. And there it is. Now I can click and drag the corners of it to resize it and to reposition it on the screen. 
I can just click and drag the whole thing. And again, to resize it, just click and drag the corners. Now, if I want to expand it, but not have it keep the same aspect ratio, I can just drag one side of it, but I want to keep the same aspect ratio. So let's click and drag the corners and we'll move it right back to the center. Now, down below this, I'd like to add some text. So let's add a text box. I'm going to click on the text box option. And now I can draw a text box underneath my picture. And I'm going to type in my text box, 1942 Cadillac convertible. I'm going to highlight my font. I'm going to bold it. I'm going to move it over to the center. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And I'm even going to change it out and use Georgia font to have 1942 Cadillac convertible displayed there. Now, let's go in and add one more slide for this demo. So a slide, new slide. And you'll see that in this case, I have another blank layout. And that's because my previous slide used a blank layout as well. And on this slide, I want to show you how you can change the background of an individual slide. One of the ways you can do that is just to select change background and change the color. And you can see there I have a bunch of different color options. I can even choose some color gradients if I like. If I want to use that kind of aqua theme, I can do that. Go back to that solid black background if I like or perhaps a nice blue background. I'm gonna go with this kind of dark black background. That's one option. I can also go to the background and choose a background image, where again, I can upload a picture. I can use my webcam, I can link to it. I can use Google Photos, Google Drive, or I can use Google Images and let's say I want to find just a picture that's a map of North America. And let's use this one right here that pops up. And I'm going to now insert that as the background and click done. But you'll notice it's a little bit distorted. So we want to make sure we use the right aspect ratio when we look for a background image. So I'll go to background again, choose image, and I still have my map of North America. This one here is the one I used and it got a little distorted. So maybe I want to use this one instead. And now that one did not get distorted because it was already in that similar aspect ratio. Now I can add pictures on top of this picture that I used in the background. And I can do that by simply going to insert image once again, and I can upload from my computer, which I'm gonna do right now. And we'll lay, overlay an image on top of that background. And so I might use this one here. And I can now put that picture on top of that background. And I can still write text on top of this if I would like. This is a map with a picture over it. And I can now change that text so I can make it bigger. And this is a good time to look at the background highlighting of it, where I can make that stand out a bit more by combining the highlighting and 
the text color. And now we see my text is a bit bigger. And now we want to preview our slides. So to do that, we'll head up to the upper right hand corner and we'll see the slideshow option and we can jump into presenter view or we can start from the beginning and view our slides in full screen. And we can exit out of those at any time as well, or just click on slideshow to blow them up from whatever slide you are viewing at the time. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to add audio and video into your Google Slides presentations. And as always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.